up. So honestly, the plan of today's video was supposed to be like, day in the life of quarantine, college student, I don't know. Because me and all my roommates have had COVID for a week now. So we've been in quarantine. But to be honest, to be completely honest, it's almost one o'clock in the evening. <laughs> I still haven't filmed anything because I just woke up and I woke up at noon and just cried. And that's the reason why I haven't been filming anything recently is because every day I'm just not in the mood to film because I'm sad. And you know what? I'm sick of just not filming for a week because I'm sad for that whole entire week and I don't have the will inside of me to want to film my day of sadness, okay? Depression is something that a lot, a lot of college kids deal with. More than you think, it makes sense. We're kids. I mean, like a lot of us aren't even 20 yet and we're living on our own for the first time. We're trying to figure out life all by ourselves. And then if you're like me, you just have crappy in your life that just throws himself in there because like, why not? <laughs> So we all have a lot on our plate and it's really easy to get overwhelmed and to let all of it get to you. So today's video is gonna be a little different. I've had people DM me about their, you know, depression and the fact that they moved to college and all of a sudden they just don't feel like themselves. And just so you know, if you're feeling that way, you're not alone. So I'm going to go throughout my day. I'm gonna force myself to get up, force myself to get ready, force myself to eat, force myself to shower and you guys are gonna come along with me and we're gonna make myself in a better mood. Okay, and this is gonna be a fun video. Let's go, let's go, fun, no depression. All right, let's get this video started. <laughs> so first, you already know what we're about to do. Coffee. <laughs> Just girly things, getting our coffee. Oh my god. I love it when she speaks to me like that. That's the sexiest thing I've ever seen in my whole life, honestly. Also, I haven't really given you guys a tour of my new room, and I know I do that every year. I'll give you guys a tour of my house if you want to see it. I don't really know if that's something someone would want to see. I live in a house full of four sorority girls, so there's five sorority girls all together, and we just live in this house all together. And because I don't live in a dorm, I didn't know if like people would want to see my living situation because my living situation is not really relatable to anybody else's. <laughs> but I will show you guys if you guys are actually curious to see where I live. So now that we have our coffee, this is what I've done. Oh, you can't even see it. This is the tiny terrace. And this is where I um, have my coffee almost every morning. And just being outside just kind of helps my mental health. So this is my view every morning. I have my flowers that I need to water today. I also have my little cactus over there, but I need to take him inside because he's been outside for too long. Honestly, one of my favorite things in this whole world to do is people watch. And this roof is perfect because it's so up high that like nobody thinks to look up here. So I'm up here like all the time and nobody sees me. There's a dog. Where's your house, dude? Okay, well I hope you find your home. Oh, just kidding. I found the owner, she's coming. This is what I mean. Do you see how she like has no idea that I'm up here? She just has no idea that I'm up here on this roof staring at her. She could look up and see me, but she just like doesn't. It's kind of nice. Okay, so that neighbor, literally, she lets her dog out and then she just stands in her front yard like this. For like so long. It's like, do you not? have like something to do. She literally will just stand outside of her house with her hands on her hip all day. I just realized I love how I'm putting off judgment right now on this random lady that's probably retired and I just need to shut up because I'm on a roof right now just watching random people walk by. Like, who am I to judge, literally? Do you guys see how I don't have the will to do anything and I don't want to do anything but I'm forcing it? That's what life is, you just force things to happen. It sucks but it's how it works, you know? Sammy also 
vlogs coming out on the tiny terrace, but we don't let it happen very often because, you know, it just terrifies the crap out of me. days just so you know if you are feeling down and depressed and you just feel like you can't get up and like take care of yourself sometimes I understand that like it doesn't feel like there's a purpose to get up and like take care of yourself that's okay once you have the strength to get up and get yourself ready you will see that it's okay you are strong enough to conquer the day Okay, so now that I am back up in my room, I'm going to get dressed and work out. Surprisingly, even on the most depressing days, I somehow managed to get myself up and work out. It's like the only thing that I'm able to control that just kind of like is a release for me. So I highly recommend trying working out. It sucks at first. I literally just saw one of my plants tip over. What the heck, Henry? Anyways, back to what I was saying. It's really hard to start, but once you start and like you continue to keep going and you start to see improvements, I don't know, it just kind of like makes me feel better. So I highly recommend you do it. Um, the app that I use is like Workouts for Women or something. I'll put like a picture of the app right here. And I really like it because you can do like advanced or beginner or whatever you want and you can focus on your butt or your abs or you can do yoga or you can just stretch you pretty much get to do whatever you want and um so yeah if you want to try that out i highly recommend it because it's helped me out a lot so is it smart to take a shower and then work out um <laughs> no but am i stupid absolutely <laughs> So because I'm working out by myself in my attic, I don't really care what I look like. And I know I'm about to get hot as frick, so I'm wearing just a tank top. I feel really uncomfortable about people watching me work out, so I'm gonna film it, but I don't really know if I'm gonna put any of it in here. I'm just gonna put clips of what I do. Like the clips that don't make me uncomfortable, so enjoy a sweet little montage of me working out. Now I'm just waiting on my results. Have you felt tired, weak, or fatigued today? Um, no. Any coughing today? No. Um, have you had trouble with depression, anxiety today, or difficulty with quarantine isolation? Yes. All of the above? Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to check all the sound. Yeah, I think we got that. Okay, so I tried filming my workout and then that phone call interrupted it. And honestly, I don't want to try to film it again. So I'm going to work out off camera because I don't, I don't want to film this, honestly. So I'll catch up. English, please? Thanks. So I'll catch up. So I'll catch up back. Any confusion or trouble thinking? Yes. What am I trying to say right now? So I will catch back up with you guys after I'm done working out. Wow, hopefully whenever I come back, my brain's connected. I don't, I don't know. All right. 
I just got done working out. Now I'm going to roughly do my makeup just because I do have a meeting today over Zoom for my sorority. And honestly, like I don't have anything to get ready for anymore. So I get ready for simple things like Zoom calls with my sorority sisters. <laughs> so because I'm vlogging today, I don't want to be looking at the viewfinder all day and seeing this, what I'm looking at right now, because that's sad. So I'm going to speed up through this whole thing because I know that none of you guys care about my makeup, so doing my makeup. <laughs> Hi, that was the worst transition ever. I'm so sorry. So I got dressed and my roommates and I are about to go to Zaxby's because all of the money goes to breast cancer. Save them titties. So obviously we're not going to leave the car, but we are going to mask up and go through the drive through <laughs> So yeah, come along with us. Clean them. It just snaps right back up. I'm kind of okay. I'm just glad that selfie's fine. <laughs> I just like that would have scared the out of me if it hit her. Oh my god! Because like my bet is an hour away. I'm tearing up. Are you okay? Oh no, I'm I'm not crying. I'm just tearing up. Like ow! It's you so much. I didn't even I didn't even expect. Halloween decorations that Eli put up because they're so cute. <laughs> Eli did such a good job. So we have these lights and then these like spooky decorations. That school fell. There's Abby. <laughs> and okay, so I'm an idiot. And here, hold on, I'm gonna turn it on. So whenever I first walked into the living room and I saw this, I literally, my first thought was, which one of my roommates is Jewish? And then I realized that it was just like a Halloween decoration and I felt really stupid. So then I shared with my roommates, I was like, I thought one of you were Jewish because I thought that was a menorah. And then Brie was like, wait, I am Jewish though. And then everything really came full circle. Um, but yeah, I love our Halloween decorations. So just kind of have like a few little Halloween things. Like we have pumpkins on every door. Oh, just random stuff everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to go to Zaxby's now, so. All right, Dad, see you later. And I would not say Oh my God. Oh. Stop. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn it down. It's just like one of those little kids, like those Rihanna What are you playing? Like, Among us. What the fuck is this? Oh my God. I'm like, I'm a gamer girl, okay? I have mental breakdowns in my car. Well, that's, uh. tissues. Well, what? I don't know how to play video games. Katie. I pull men by playing video games. Katie, Katie <laughs> wouldn't let me play on yeah, the I'm computer. Kidding. Right now, the but game. she's not kidding. I was out. They don't even know how I look like, and they'll be like, "Hey, Bree, drop the IG." Oh, and then, God. so I drop it because, and I then they're like, "Holy shit, this girl's hot." Eli said she's paying for my dinner. I got some. This is from I got the change. <laughs> Afternoon snack. Cheers, mom, for the money. <laughs> and I totally. Interesting choice to roll up to Zaxby's with. I wish Guardian Paul's never died. <laughs> Eli's still holding my dinner. <laughs> I don't want you to lose it. <laughs> Are you guys doing the 99 cent uh, kids meal? Yes, if you purchase an adult meal. It's what? If what? If you purchase an adult yes, meal. Yes, you get oh, it. I'll buy getting kids meal. Okay, can I get a number one? Can you name your flavors? I'm sorry, I don't know any of the other ones. We have orange, we have cherry, we have raspberry, we have grape, we have lime, we have strawberry, we have lemon, and we have wine. Fruit punch. They said wine. Lime. Lime. Lemon, lime. Lemon, lime. Lemon, lime. Lemon, lime. Fruit punch for one. Can you say anything else today? I hope that's fucking it. We didn't get our lemonade. Oh my god, they gave us cookies! Lemonade? Yeah. Well, yeah, because we ordered the kids' meal. Did they come with a toy? Yeah, so the there's no toy. That's like that vine where the kid's like, so no head, and then breaks the skateboard, and she's like, so no toy. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're having a silent ride home.
I hate that we. Okay. I hate that that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Honey mustard, barbecue, plus barbecue, bread. We're gonna eat our food now. Does anybody want to show their food? How the f did your dog get back in here? Actually, that's a really good question. I have no idea. Maybe <laughs> nice. We're about to do meeting. Hello, everyone. We're gonna get started with meeting. Oh. I know. Okay, I just want to put out there into the universe, if anybody is watching that does not vape, do not vape. Don't start it, don't think of starting it, don't even dream of starting it, okay? Let me just tell you, vaping is the stupidest thing that I ever, ever started doing, ever. And I started whenever I was 18 and I was dumb. Everybody was just doing it, so I decided to do it. If you do not vape, continue to not vape. Do not vape ever. If you're coming to college and you haven't vaped, don't start vaping. It's not cute, it's not cool. Don't do it. I'm going out to my balcony. Hey! Hi! <laughs> yes. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you. Love you too. Bye. I appreciate you. I hate myself. The fact that I'm in quarantine and I just had my friend get me pods and throw them up on my balcony. Shout out to Camille, I love you so much. You are the best friend ever, but that is sad. Okay, Taylor, look into my eyes right now, okay? I'm talking to you in the future. If you are 23 and you're still vaping, I am gonna be so disappointed in you. You have to stop. You don't wanna live this way, it's wasting your money. Stop doing it. Okay, sorry, back to our regular schedule program. <laughs> Brie has a spider in her room. <laughs> There's a spider! Oh my god. Dude, I was laying down in my bed, and then I was just looking at the ceiling, and I was like, I see a freaking spot. Why is there a dark spot? Oh. <laughs> look, look. Ah! Oh, did oh. I... Did you get it? Killed it. I don't know. I need that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like spiders, bro. Okay, I face something cool. Say hi, Cole. Hi. Let's have a buddy together. He's a cuddler. But we're just sitting here chatting about our day with Buddy. Sammy's like passed out behind the camera. But anyways, I wanted Cole to make an appearance in the video. So. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to share with you something that I do that helps me, again, tremendously mentally. <laughs> and that is journaling. Minus therapy, I think that journaling is the best thing that somebody depressed could do for themselves. I write everything down in here. It's just a place where I can let go of all my thoughts. Everything that I'm thinking to myself, I can put it somewhere. And it's weird, but once you write it down, it feels like a weight lifted off your shoulders. Sometimes I'll take my Bible and I'll find a Bible verse and I'll reflect on that one Bible verse and I'll write a whole page on just that one Bible verse and it's just something to focus on other than how crappy my life is. <laughs> and times right now are really, really hard and I feel like people that suffer from mental illness are struggling the most right now. And we just got done with September, which was Suicide Prevention Month, so with everything that's going on and I feel like everybody around me is sad and everyone around me is struggling and it just brings me down. <laughs> right now, I literally feel like my world is crumbling and I feel like everything is falling apart. And some days I don't wanna get out of bed and I just want to drop out of college, get in my Fiat and drive far away and never see anybody ever again. I'm not the only person that feels that way and I know that so I love all of you. Um, my DMs are always open and yeah I hope you guys learned some stuff that you could maybe do to help your brains and I don't know.
I hope this video was somewhat entertaining. I'm sorry if it was just depressing, but I love you guys. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what video you wanna see from me next and make sure to subscribe if you like me. And yeah, see you guys soon. Bye.